This is a generational change for us. You see technologies that come out that fundamentally disrupt the way companies do business. And we are at that point, you know, artificial intelligence has been around for the last couple of decades, but generative AI has really provided that inflection point. So companies have to look at it from two different lenses. The first is they have to avoid being disrupted by their competition who are also trying to provide different products and services, and in fact, create new experiences and products and services for their clients. So it's absolutely imperative if you want to be able to compete and in fact grow, that you adopt generative AI and AI overall. And then you have to re-engineer and rewire yourself internally to be able to be nimble. And this has a lot of different aspects to it. Uh, it's all about how you organize your IT systems, the skills that your people have, how you set up marketing, how you set up HR internally. So a lot of different aspects that you have to consider on how you rewire yourself internally, but also externally on how you serve your clients. AI has been around for a couple of decades, but now with generative AI, you're bringing a different lens to the way AI is used because you're fundamentally generating new content. So as you generate new content, your users have to be able to trust that content. They have to understand where it came from, was it responsible, um, is it secure? So in order to do that, you have to be able to have the right guardrails in place. You have to be able to show transparency. You have to be able to show that this is being done in a secure and safe and fair manner. So putting all of these in place with the right checks and balances is going to be very important because at the end of the day, in order to scale AI, you want to be able to have trust from the user side. Adoption of AI is not that simple. There's multiple aspects to it. Uh, there is the fundamental data question on how do you organize your data. There is the aspect of how do you set, set up the AI so that it's responsible. There's the aspect of how do you offer new products and services that work. So clients should really take a step back, look at various ideas that they can generate in order to rewire themselves internally as well as offer new products and services, and then start on small pilots be able to look at these pilots and proofs of concept, and if necessary, fail fast, but then come up with these ideas and products that they can then scale up to production level um, and then take it out in a responsible manner to their clients. So it's very important to make a quick start, to have small pilots, to fail fast if needed, but then once you understand which are the ones that are going to succeed for you both internally as well as for your clients, then take it to production levels.